Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Personal Budget Tracker Spreadsheet. In this video, we're going to go through an in-depth look at how you're going to set up and use this spreadsheet to manage your personal finances throughout the year. With that, we'll take a look at the overview of the spreadsheet. At the top, you can see the yearly summary where you have for each month your total income as well as your total expenses. And then that's going to calculate your net income at the end of the month, which is calculated by subtracting those total expenses from the total income each month. Then you have your income section down below, which is, includes all the different ways you might be earning income each month, such as wages and tips, potentially capital gains from stocks, uh, maybe you receive some financial gifts, uh, and so on. And then I've also already included all the potential expense categories you might be spending money on throughout the year, such as household expenses, transportation expenses. And you'll notice for each of these, I've also included a number of very detailed categories that might be included in that overarching category. Uh, so your health expenses, your charity and gifts, uh, living expenses, entertainment expenses, travel expenses, uh, obligations such as student loans and credit card debt. Uh, and then you have your savings expenses such as your emergency fund you're putting money towards, uh, maybe your retirement accounts for your future. Uh, so it's pretty much got everything you could possibly think of as far as income and expenses. So all you need to do throughout the year is enter in your income each month in all those different categories. And keep in mind, maybe not all these apply to you, uh, and that's okay. Just fill out the ones that um, are relevant to your life. Uh, I just wanted to make it as comprehensive as possible so that it could apply to as many people as possible. So as you're entering in those numbers, you can see up here that uh, your total income for the month is automatically calculating. And then it can enter in uh, some sample numbers down in the expense category. So the, the mortgage or the rent, uh, the insurance, uh, will enter in some sample auto loan that you might be paying. And we can see there's automatically calculating as well for the total expenses. And this will automatically go from green to red uh, if your net worth or if your net income for the month is now negative. Uh, so it gives you a quick... Uh, at a glance look of uh, is my net income typically positive or is it negative? Am I spending more than am I making? Uh, so it gives you that quick visual look. Uh, if we go into February and enter in some numbers there, uh, we can see that starts to calculate. And then we'll take a look at the right hand side over here. This is going to be your total income for the year and your total expenses for the year. And then to the right, it's going to automatically calculate your monthly average. Um, and this really isn't going to be too relevant until you get to the full uh, 12 months, because um, right now it's going to divide it out amongst 12 months. Um, but it gives you a little bit of an idea as you go throughout the year. And then once you get to the end of the year, you can see your average income and average expenses. And you're also going to be able to see that for all your discrete income uh, areas that you might be earning in. So I can see I've earned $3,000 in wages and tips. I've earned $150 in capital gains. I've earned $20 in... Uh, gifts that I've received, uh, and then the monthly average for each of those. And you'll be able to see that as well for your total expenses uh, in each different category that you have. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and as always, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, just send me a message in the comment or feel free to email me. Uh, my email is down below. Uh, thank you again uh, and have a good day.